The NHL goalie carousel continues at full speed here as the St. Louis Blues have traded goalie Vili Husso to the Red Wings. And he's also agreed to an extension. We'll discuss the details coming up next. So welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. As I mentioned, we have another trade in the NHL, and this one involves another goaltender. So the goalie, goalie carousel here is still going in full swing. There's only a few chairs left. Be interesting to see how the rest of the day plays out as many NHL teams are trying to secure their goaltending for the upcoming 22-23 season. So Vili Husso is a pending unrestricted free agent, 27 years old. You could call him a little bit of a late bloomer if you want. Had a fantastic season for the St. Louis Blues and became too expensive for St. Louis to retain uh, to play along with Jordan Bennington. There were stretches this year where Husso was definitely the main guy and kind of took Bennington's job away, so to speak. But then in the play Playoffs, Bennington did end up getting the job back before they eventually lost out uh, in the playoffs to Colorado. Now, uh, Vili Husso goes over to the Red Wings. Of course, they already have a fairly young goaltender that they acquired last year in Alex Nedeljkovic. Uh, they also have a, a really top-rated prospect goalie, one of the top goalie prospects uh, really outside of the NHL in Sebastian Kosa of the Edmonton Oil Kings in the Western Hockey League. Um, so some people are already saying, well, why would they do this when they have Kosa? But here's the thing. Goalies do not develop at a super fast rate. You don't want to rush anything. And if you haven't been paying attention, Steve Eiserman and the Red Wings as a whole here have a notorious reputation for being patient, taking their time, and not rushing their kids into spots where they don't need to be. Uh, so Sebastian Kosa can continue to develop over the next couple of years while Nandukovic and Huso take the reins here. You don't know if longer term, if either of those goalies are going to be your prime starter, how this is going to go. Uh, will it be uh, 1A, 1B? Uh, there's still a little bit of risk involved here, and Kosa will get his turn, I think, to be the guy in a few years' time when he's ready for it. Um, but they don't need to rush him at this point. They have a couple of young goalies now, Nandukovic and Huso. Huso signs a three-year contract extension with Detroit, valued at $4.75 million. Um, so I think he can he can probably thank Cal Peterson of LA for that deal. That contract that the Kings signed with Peterson uh, kind of set the tone for similar goalies that are uh, you know a little bit older, late blooming, looking for that three or four year deal uh, like this. So to me, Huso is a good pickup in Detroit. Is there risk involved? There is. I mean, yes, you could argue that he had a fantastic year. He's an older, mature goalie. But he doesn't have a huge sample size, right? Um, at one point, Huso was looked upon as being the goalie of the future in St. Louis. Um, back when, if you go back a number of years ago, when they had a tandem of uh, Elliot and Allen in Detroit, or in St. Louis, sorry, um, and then Elliot moved on. They gave Jake a chance to run with the ball. Jake Allen was a starting goalie for a few years. Um, it didn't go over quite as well. It wasn't terrible, but. Jake was better in a tandem than he was on his own as being the main starter. And then from there, they kind of looked upon him as Huso being the heir apparent to Jake Allen at some point. Well, that never ended up happening. Uh, at one point, of course, the year the Blues won the Cup, uh, Jake Allen had some struggles, uh, had some injury issues as well. They wanted to bring up a goalie from the minors. Huso was hurt and he wasn't available. So who comes into play? Jordan Bennington and the rest is history. At that point, Bennington was considered... Probably a, a longer shot of making it, uh, be, be like a lower on the ranking here than, than Huso was. Um, and if Huso had been healthy, he would have got that opportunity at that point. Now, things could have turned out very different in St. Louis. It's hard to say. We can't go back in time here and change things. But Bennington made the most of that opportunity and the rest is history in St. Louis. So, of course, that pushed Huso down. Of course, they had Bennington and Allen for a little while longer till he was traded to Montreal. Then, of course, this year... Um, you know, Huso gets his first shot at being like a full solid NHL season and he succeeded. He did well. So uh, we have no reason to think he won't do well in Detroit, but obviously, you know, you have a different team in front of him that'll play in the role here as well. And we'll see how he does having a little bit more pressure and having to be the guy, uh, not having an, uh, you know, an experienced Stanley Cup goaltender like Bennington playing along with you, right? So we'll see how it goes, but there's definitely some uh, some risk involved, I think, but it's it's not crazy risk. Iserman's very risk adverse that way. It gives time for Costa to, to develop and take his time. The Red Wings' patience can continue like it always has. And, uh, you know, Iserman 
is uh, kind of done a sneaky good deal here, in my opinion. So let me know your thoughts on this trade down in the comments. We'll discuss further. I'll keep you up to date with all the latest news from the draft as uh, rounds two through seven get underway here very shortly. Of course, I know for those of you watching in Canada, uh, Rogers is experiencing a major outage across the country in terms of TV, internet, phone, everything. Uh, depending on where you live, you might have some stuff working, some things not working, so you may not be able to watch the draft. As of right now, I can't watch the draft because my uh, cable is out, uh, but I'll be following along online, keeping everybody up to date here. So let's hopefully we can get things resolved here and we can all enjoy the draft and keep up to date with the news. But I'll be here on YouTube to make sure that everybody can do that as long as uh, you have access to that at least. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.